welcome to Metuchen. Located in the heart of New Jersey, this bustling town is also known as the Brainy Borough, especially for its historic support of culture and the arts. Join us as we introduce you to some of Metuchen's exciting works of outdoor public art and meet some of the artists who created them. Public art comes in a variety of forms and happens in many ways. And here in Metuchen is no exception. Beginning with Revolutionary War era tombstone carvings in the old colonial cemetery on Main Street, and including the 1942 Federal New Deal plaster bas-relief gardeners by artist Harold and Bellin, located inside the Main Street Post Office, as well as memorials to 9-11, and Martin Luther King. And private commissions, like this sculpture by artist Mayan Watkins in front of the Westerhof School of Music and Art. And borough-sponsored commissions, like Linda von der schmidt Lestella's The Seasons. Metuchen has a tradition of public art. When the Metuchen Downtown Alliance was formed in 2016, they committed to bringing new works of public art to Metuchen as part of their efforts to promote and revitalize the downtown MDA business district. One of the main objectives was to try to connect the old downtown Main Street with nearby redevelopment efforts that include retail establishments such as Whole Foods. Since New Street physically connected the two areas, it was determined that placing art along its corridor could help visually bring them together in a more dynamic way. The MDA public art team recommended the acclaimed Brooklyn-based mixed media artist Steve Powers as someone who could make that happen. According to Powers, common ground is open territory, a place where anyone can be. His text-based work relates visually to advertising billboards and signage graphics, to which he adds witty puns as a playful twist. In 2018, the MDA engaged Powers to create its first public art commission and invited him to visit Metuchen to provide a proposal for the new Street Corridor Connector project. Through a series of meetings with the public and the MDA, three works emerged. Metuchen Love Letter No. 1, Stay in Touch, located off Main Street, and Metuchen Love Letter No. 2, Together, along with a series of street banners along New Street. These artworks join Powers' renowned A Love Letter for You Outdoor Mural Project, a series found in other major U.S. cities, including Philadelphia, Syracuse, Baltimore, and Brooklyn. Metuchen Love Letter No. 1, Stay in Touch, was designed to be seen by train passengers as they got off at Metuchen, or passed by to another stop. The playful figures relate to clip art and Metuchen's transit village status. Powers remarked, like any other pilgrim coming to Metuchen, I had a slice and met an NJ transit conductor. After a few trips, I figured if I liked the pizza and knew a conductor, I could at least survive or run for office. Metuchen love letter number two, together, can be interpreted in many ways. The colors and typeface are based on the iconic red, white, and blue icy frozen beverage logo, including its distinctive ice covered letters. In this mural, windows physically separate and break up the letters in the word together, making our brains combine all the visual clues to read them as a text. Like the game of Scrabble, where many words can be created out of a single term, we can see several words, or just one. The mural can also be seen as a testament to Metuchen's collaborative spirit of working together for the community. Metuchen love letter street banners further activate New Street and remind pedestrians to revive, resume, review, relax, and repeat in both directions as they go about their daily commute or pass through town. Featuring images of the rising and setting sun and moon, these striking banners create another visual connection between the two parts of town. All three Powers pieces work together to help visually unify Metuchen and link the town to a larger public art project beyond central New Jersey. Another 2018 MDA Public Art Commission was by local Metuchen artist Ed Wetzel. Located along one of the walls of the MDA's initiative, Imagination Alley. Welcome to uh, Imagination Alley. 
Uh, this project began a few years ago. Take uh, this alleyway and uh, improve upon uh, their original sketch, which was uh, a quote by Einstein, uh, imagination is more important than knowledge. We were able to uh, start with soft edges because there's no, nothing concrete with our imagination. Everything's just feelings and, and uh, that start to reveal themselves. And as, as the uh, idea and imagination becomes more defined and, uh, and a little more concrete, the edges become a little more uh, linear and uh, defined until uh, it's going through the book of knowledge here and uh, comes out uh, to uh, an idea that can be uh, shared uh, with others. And then it turned into, well, let's elaborate on this. And it became, who else is uh, of notable um, imaginary, imagination uh, kings and queens of this town? So right away, Thomas Edison, who uh, needs no real introduction. Uh, Thomas Peterson Mundy, the first African-American to vote in the United States. And uh, he's in the parlor with uh, Mary Wilkins Friedman, who is a famous author in the late 1800s. And she was very good friends with Samuel Clemens, Mark Twain. And then I transitioned to, to the old Franklin Schoolhouse. Uh, since imagination uh, needs to be uh, nourished and encouraged, uh, where else better than the schools? Further down at the far end, of uh, the mural, there's uh, a parade scene. And Metuchen has been having parades, uh, Memorial Day parades for over a hundred years here. And uh, my brother was actually the Grand Marshal one year. So I have him representing uh, the, um, the uh, veterans and their contribution. Everything reveals itself in its own time. And I'm sure everybody can look at something on this wall and find something to be familiar, even if it's a butterfly that uh, comes and visits their home. Not all the MDA district public art was created by humans. In 2018, the MDA brought Albert the Robot to Metuchen to create the first robotic spray-painted mural on the nation's east coast. Using a design by former Metuchenite and New Jersey graphic designer Ariel Rutland, the mural features the town's name in a retro video game inspired look, related to its location outside the former arcade at Haley's Harp and Pub. Albert was the inspiration of Estonian inventors Mikkel Jawala and Henry Patzig, co-founders of Spray Printer. Holding five cans of spray paint, this computer-guided robot used preset coordinates to execute Rutland's design. Rutland noted, most of my graphic design work is print-based. Materials you can hold in your hand, like branding and packaging design, specialty stationery book covers. So working on such a large scale with wide range visibility was an exciting challenge for me. The robotic spray-painted mural illustrates how Metuchen welcomes innovation and creative expression. Some MDA district public art began as temporary projects like these colorful Adirondack chairs made out of recycled wooden pallets, part of a 2019 summer program, The Language Project. It, w it was fun to make yeah. for me, and it was sort of a break because I want something that's gonna kind of take my mind off of stuff. So it was, it was a very fun project that wasn't like anything else I was working on. I saw the application, the call for call for submissions for artists, and I, I thought that you know it would be fun to, to upholster a chair, and I did. And I, what I did was I went around town and took pictures of words because it was for the language project. I'm a quilter, so I like taking pictures in front of art. It's very nice that my town has furnished me with so many different backdrops. I think it inspires other people yeah. to create as well because with so many different types of media, it gives them, they, they may say, oh, you know, I wouldn't, well, I'm a quilter and I wouldn't have thought about doing that. So it really shows them how you can apply different things in different areas. And I don't know, I've, I've seen so many, so much more public art here than I have elsewhere. 
I'm really happy with how mine turned out. I was really surprised that it turned out as well as it did. And I'm very proud every time I drive by and I see people sitting in it. And that was one of the more fun things last year was people would take selfies in them. My, my whole, well, other than spreading um, happiness, love, and peace, was to really create something that made people feel welcome and emphasize the whole the thing I like about town, which is that it's a very inclusive community. It, you, everyone feels welcome here. Grant funds and support from MDA stakeholders have provided additional public art opportunities for the district, including this 2020 mural meshing histories by New Jersey native artist, Jonathan Horowitz. So this mural here, I, I, I call it a historical mural, but it tells a non-linear history. You know, you could tell history through dance, you could tell it through music, and you could tell it through, you know, what I'm doing here is, you know, a, another for, abstract form. Um, so I'm trying to just think about, you know, what has happened in this area in the last, you know, four or five hundred years, and also the big changes that have happened in the last 20 or 30 years and depict them in a way that on the surface it's somewhat unfamiliar. You're going to be confronted by images that you don't recognize. And I want that to allow spontaneous consumption of, of the content. All of these shapes, all these images and colors are the result of me you know, studying the history stuff or thinking about the history stuff or just thinking about what I saw growing up here, the people from all the different countries around the world. I mean, it, you see a lot of cultural influences that um, I, I see, you know, feeding into the art movement in Middlesex County now. So here we actually kind of go from the 50s to like a few, you know, few hundred years back, 500 years back before this area was colonized. Um, to the digital age and then we have a bunch of other stuff in there that just you know taking my artistic influences throughout the you know last 10-15 years or just I, I used to study patterns a lot and I was particularly interested in um, Islamic patterns uh, because in a lot of Islamic art or I guess most of it, it you it's not figurative um, um, also I used to be really into the ancient Egyptian patterns because they had a certain relationship to nature so I pulled some of that in here and then I would I would guess some um, Ghana and Nigeria I listened to a lot of music from those countries and I you know I was studying album covers so maybe some of the color combinations were from those I didn't want to end up uh, appropriating other art and just doing other people's art. I just know I've studied this stuff for years and years and years and whatever I make is going to have that art as part of it. Metuchen is an inclusive community that works together to celebrate the arts, honoring its traditions while embracing the future. These values are reflected in the town's wide variety of public art available for everyone to explore, experience, and enjoy. We invite you to visit Metuchen's public art in person. Stop by and grab a takeout meal, or stay longer to dine in one of our many fine restaurants, or shop in our unique boutiques, and take a leisurely walk downtown to appreciate all that Metuchen has to offer. We hope to see you sometime soon.